All right, we're out at the range with D1 tennis player at Ohio State, JJ Tracy. Gonna give him a lesson and learn a little bit more about him. So I see you got like a decent set of clubs. Do you, do you play a lot or? I would hope. <laughs> I've played for maybe, well, maybe not with that, but no, I've played for maybe four or five years here. So. Okay. Nice. Obviously, being in Ohio, I can't get out as much as I'd like, but me and my buddies like to go out in the summer and tap around. I'd say, you know, I, I start going out once every two weeks or so. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, our academy I went to was right on a golf course, so, oh, you know, we'd, we'd sneak out there and we'd get, a, we'd get a round in in between practices pretty often. So. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess when you're in season, how do you get to play at all or uh golf yeah uh i mean if we were to ask coach i'm sure he is not a fan of it but <laughs> our season's in the winter so we don't really get to get out yeah. but you know i was on the simulator maybe like a, a month ago or so but okay cool. when you do get out and get to play golf yeah what do you say is your biggest struggle out on the course biggest struggle on the course when i get out um I would definitely say consistency. Yeah. You know, I feel like I can get the ball out there pretty good on the drive, and when I'm on my game, I can get it on the green mm -hmm. in two or three, but definitely putting as well. But Yeah, putting. You know, all of days where my driver's on fire and my irons, I can't hit a single ball, but another day it's vice versa, so it's usually, consistency for sure. Usually how it is out on the course. Yeah. So we said that your miss is usually a little bit less. Absolutely. I can tell that you got speed and you're able to like compress it. You're making good contact with it. Let's hit, let's do one more iron. Okay. And then I think I got something for you. All right. There you go. So I think you did it a little bit there. So what I try to do with whenever I instruct someone is to focus on just a couple things. They don't want to overload you with information or uh -huh. do a lot. So first thing I see, what I want you to feel is when you're taking the club down, really feel like that left hip is firing behind you. So almost like the first thing that's happening. So not necessarily a forward movement, feel like it's turning behind you like, like this. So like the, the left pocket is coming behind you like this. On a follow through. So almost like, as the club's coming down, this is starting to turn. Got it. So what that's gonna do is just gonna allow the club to have some more time, and rather than it just be like an arms type of swing, Got it's it. gonna help straighten it out a little bit. All right. Close. <sighs> Feel like you're pushing off the back leg and turning this behind you like that. So, yes, yeah. so do you mind if I touch you? No, go okay. for it. <laughs> so, uh, start to turn. So right. do like this little thing like this. Yep. And then this is gonna like, feel like that. Got it. Almost. So it's like, so you play tennis obviously and you're, yep. you're really good. So I like almost compare the, the iron swing with like, I used to play tennis way back in the uh -huh. day, but as you're coming through like this, like I could be wrong here. So I, I'm not the expert, but do like, it sounds silly, but do your like forehand motion. Like you give your forehand? Yeah. Okay. So like, just like a nice forehand Got type it. of shot. Yeah, so you see that right there? Yeah. How that left hip just kind of clears like this? Yep. It's that almost that same feeling with that club. Boom, yeah. Got it. Yeah, really close. How did you start to get into tennis and the whole you know recruiting process type of thing? It's probably a little different than most sports. The recruitment process in tennis starts when you're about 15, 16. They're allowed to start talking to you junior year of high school. And I was definitely later than most people in my grade, but uh, most people committed maybe a year in and I was uh, maybe a year and a half. I brought it down to three schools and then I, uh, I visited them all and Ohio State was just the one that felt more like a brotherhood to me. So yeah. that's where I ended up, but every school was great. And they, uh, it's, I think tennis in specific, it's more about uh, learning how you are as a team because even though you're out there on the court individually it's such like a, a team sport because you're you're playing doubles with people and you're everybody's got jail to be able to win yeah and i was going to ask you know obviously golf is super individual and there's the team aspect there but i would think tennis is almost a little bit more team oriented than the golf team because of the fact that you are working together in doubles uh, our coach likes to say that 
he likes to teach the same doubles so that you know on no matter what point or what situation everybody knows what they're doing and is on the same page <laughs> you got to know what your partner's thinking you got to know what you're thinking and you know everybody's got to be on the same wavelength um as a young kid i kind of played you know every sport not including golf but uh, okay i played every sport and then you know when they started to get more asking for me to you know travel to here travel to there i'd always choose tennis and then i think i was specifically only tennis from age 12 on and that's when i moved away to hilton head and started in a tennis academy and really yeah. started to solely focus on that there so i like the rotation that you're getting let me just set up to the ball one more time yeah. and then let's take a look at your your okay. grip here so let's kind of we're gonna loosen this so we're gonna just kind of go a little bit more down Got the it. uh shaft like that with your right hand that way we're not completely like over and the face will close easier we're gonna be a little bit more neutral here Got it. so it's gonna feel a little bit weird the grip is like i say the grip is probably the most confusing thing in the golf swing and the most uncomfortable thing to change yeah but just feel like your right thumb's running more down the shaft instead of uh over like you had it got it so just set up like what's comfortable for you just kind of feel that right thumb and you still want me to lock here yeah that's totally fine got it yeah there we go there it is two in a row ha ah, look at that yeah so sometimes it's just like i don't know a little a little <laughs> change like we'll go a long way with the I swing know. i barely went over I barely went over, and now it's doing this. There you go. Even that, it's not as dramatic as yeah. the uh, other one. And we have a right to left win, too, so that's just gonna exaggerate it a little yeah. bit more. Same thing. Yep. Now, just feel like you're doing nice and smooth. When you hit that one, nice and little baby draw, super smooth, it's just a fluid motion. We're not trying to force anything. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. There we go. So when you started playing golf, were you able to draw any parallels between golf and, and tennis in any way? Um, I mean, that four in one you just told me was a pretty big one. But, yeah. um, definitely like what you said about finishing, like, you know, mm -hmm. in tennis, you know, you're told to finish through here and like kind of bring it through. And here, you're, you know, you're finishing through here as well. Uh -huh. um, a lot of like hip strength and like, you know, center of gravity stuff which i'm sure is very important for golf as well how much technique and stuff because obviously all you guys are really good on the team how much technique do you guys go over like during practice rather than just you know rallying and doing stuff uh i would honestly say pretty much none none okay maybe a little bit on serves but okay. you know i think once you get to college people don't try and change what's got you there for sure no um, it's valid for sure yeah so you just got a little like little more arms you there okay so if you see if you see it go to the left so for this one focus on make sure the grips there that's the check yep. and then focus on turning that hip like that got it yeah i mean without the win that's that's great and actually i was just thinking about this since a lot of baseball players who get into golf uh -huh. will start to like hang back hit this nasty slice but since i was comparing the swing to the like the forehand and in tennis there's there's obvious reason why you hit it to the left because you have like already that rotation around your body you're so used to it yeah and that makes a lot of sense actually i just thought of that so um do you want to grab like a longer iron sure like a four yeah. iron something let's do it all right so we'll do four iron same thing as the seven obviously like you were saying it doesn't come out of the bag too often because it's definitely a little bit harder to hit the only difference is we're going to move it up in our stance just a little bit so okay. stand a little bit further away Yep. And then the other thing I was talking about was tempo. Just keep that nice, smooth, smooth swing. There it is. There we go. Yeah. You know, from an outsider's perspective, tennis, you know, you watch them play. Yeah. And it's great. But what kind of prep, at least from a collegiate team side, goes into, you know, a match? Yeah. Um there's a lot of different matchups because you can change your lineups match to match. So uh -huh. um, a lot of prep goes in and kind of like a meeting situation okay. with our coaches and our team, of like, you know, who you think you can beat and, you know, what's a good matchup for you. And they definitely go over that a lot. But in terms of like, you know, physical stuff, you know, we're 
we're using deep massage stuff the night before we're getting hydration and you know your pedialytes your your gatorades all that before um you know lots of stretching before the match you know we have a lot of guys on our team that have injuries and we gotta you know get extra hours in for that but i'd say we put in a good three hours the night before two hours nice the morning of so when you i mean i was just thinking about this too is tennis is unique i mean it is a little individualistic but you're also running your butt off out there yeah so how do you do a lot of conditioning training also or is that or is that just kind of the the practice component of it yeah i'd say that's kind of the practice component of it you know yeah. we're out there you know, we're close to four hours a day so yeah we get most of our fitness from that i'd be surprised if any of us were too out of shape but yeah uh, <laughs> you, can't, you really can't be <laughs> but no our, our strength coach gets us going on the bikes a couple times a week and uh when we're in off season we'll we'll run around the track around the lacrosse field stuff like that so <sighs> yeah so that one just got a, like I said, a little handsy. It's a lot easier to do with the longer club because our longer clubs, longer shaft, it's gonna be harder to hit them straight. It just naturally is. So yeah. especially check that grip, check the ball position and that turn. That all look good? Yeah, that looks great. And then, yeah, what you do better than, I mean, most people who don't play golf that much is you, you really stay down. And I guess it is that tennis because you're, you're really here, right? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stay real low to that ball. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's probably flying 210, if I were to guess. Cool, you wanna grab, you wanna do some drivers? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So with the driver, is it, in terms of like missing it off the tee, you said you're able to get it out there pretty far, which makes sense because of your irons, but is there, does it usually go left, you would say? Ah, uh, yeah, I'd say that's this goes left as well. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna imagine like it's an iron, but obviously it's not because it's teed up, but we're just gonna, Move the ball, play it off our front heel. Got it. Yep. Maybe a little bit wider stance. There you go. Okay. Yeah, same thing with the grip. So you see how you went back to it right here? Oh, there yep. you go. Caught me. Got it. Now rotate that through. Yeah. <sighs> Obviously, golf is super, super mental. And to be out in the court for three plus hours, it's got to take some mental strength is there stuff that you do specifically or that your uh Ooh. little pop-up that's all right that your Lost coach talks tea. about i'll get another tea yeah. that you know will help you mentally it's tough to stay out there for you know what could be hour and a half to three hours and you know be focused the whole time and a big part of that is kind of trying to not scoreboard watch you know yeah if you see your because you know, we only played a four so if you see your teammates about to win and you're already up 3-0, you're like, like I gotta hurry up. And, yeah. You know, if they don't end up getting that and you're focused on going too quick, it could screw you and, you know, then you're losing. So the one, so I think I see why you're popping it up just a little bit. This is where, you know, being down like this in tennis might hurt you a little bit, but we'll, we'll fix it. It's a little bit different because obviously it's the only club that we're teeing up. So let's set up again. I'm gonna get you in a good setup position. Okay. So set up. Perfect, and then we're just gonna drop the back shoulder, just like angle it back just a, just a little bit like that. Got it. What that's gonna do, it's just gonna help us hit up on it. And then when we are swinging here, let's, let's imagine we're pushing off that back foot a little bit. It's gonna give us a little bit more power. It's gonna allow that, come, that uh, club to come right through. All right, that's all right. So as do a slow motion swing and I'll kind of help you guide the club. Right. So take it back to the top and then start coming down. Yeah, so that's a bit better. We want to be like a little bit be more behind it. So if we're here, we want to be a little bit more like this. Got it. For you, like I don't tell people to lean back, but I think I need to tell you, almost feel like you're going to lean back a little bit okay. because you're so like, like this from yeah. tennis. better i like i'd rather see that than the pop-up for sure step your right foot forward just a little bit uh sorry towards the ball got it there you go yep it was like super close how did that feel compared to like the other ones did it feel any different or uh, a lot smoother i feel smoother. like i had better balance as well that's true 
I think bringing that right foot forward helped a little bit. Okay. Um, just because when you do tend to drop it back, you can like swipe across it, which makes it go to the left. So we're just gonna kind of prevent it a little bit with that. Oh, it's all right, they're slippery. I guess going from high school to college is a big change. And being at a school like Ohio State, being such a big name, what is it like, the, the team atmosphere and is there a brotherhood there? How, how does that work for you guys? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that was a that was the one reason I chose to come here as opposed to, you know, I visited Texas and Baylor as well, almost went there, but kind of the team aspect and the brotherhood is what brought me here. Yeah, even that's like better than the, the duck hook. Oh yeah. So you just mentioned like grinding and obviously my name's that golf grind. Yep. So we, golf is a grind as a lot of people know, as you probably know. Uh, how do you grind in your daily life? You know, what's your grind with tennis or balancing that, being a student as well? What, what does that look like for you? Yeah, I think that's definitely my biggest grind right now is you know, we like to, coach likes us to come out for an hour in the morning and then gets us going two and a half, three hours in the afternoon. And two, twice a week, we're doing hour long lifts after. So, you know, that takes five hours out of your day. And we still got to, we still got to schedule 15 credits, get our exams yeah. done, get our homework done. Like, you know, that's definitely my biggest grind. It's all right, just a little quick. Our professor's pretty, you know, being student athletes, pretty understanding to work around your schedule. Yeah, yeah. They all, uh, you know, someone will say, take it online, we'll get you a proctor. Others will say, you know, make a little appointment at the testing center and we'll get you going. So, yeah. It's all right, we just popped it up just a little bit. Got the grip. Yeah, that right foot. Just drop the right shoulder down a little bit. Yeah. That look good? Yep. Super close. Oh, I thought that was gonna be it too. We're gonna leave on a good one. Okay. A buddy just graduated two years ago. He just got married, but he's been in, uh, you know, Thailand for a month. He's been in Egypt for a month. So. Wow. You gotta go to some crazy places and grind for sure. What's but. the process there? I know, you know, in golf there's like Q school and this whole process to get up to the pro circuit is it similar or? right yeah so we we have this thing i, I kind of relate it to like uh kind of how there's the corn fairy is yeah. it still called that yeah mm -hmm. kind of like that and then the pga so you kind of have to give a certain ranking playing these like a challenger tour is okay. the same thing as the corn fairy so you have to get a certain ranking from playing those events to qualify for the atp events this is gonna be it right here okay we're gonna hit it good and we're gonna focus on that hip. Got the, it. the couple that you hit well, that just dove left. I mean, the wind's actually going crazy right to left right now. So if we could just get a little bit of a draw, not okay. like the hook, just fire that, fire that hip through. Oh, I think what we did is we went, we went fast. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good, honestly. If we were. We cut if, the wind. If, if the wind wasn't there, that's like a probably 10 yard draw, but. Uh, I like the time. grip. I'm definitely gonna implement this all into my game when I get out here next. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully it all works out and I'm, you know, shaving five strokes off here. JJ, I'll link his socials in the description. Make sure to check him out. Good luck this season. You guys just, what do you guys have coming up for Ohio State? Yeah, so we, we just finished our indoor nationals and we've got outdoor nationals coming up in uh, the end of May in uh, Orlando, so we're, working towards that in the Big Ten Championship. There you go. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Really appreciate you coming out on the channel. Thank Make you. sure to subscribe if you're new. Some more stuff with athletes here at Ohio State, and I'll see you guys in the next one.